Hey everyone, welcome back to the CWE YouTube channel. I'm Mel and today I am joined with Anitia. Did I get that right? Yes. Right, we are getting somewhere. <laughs> so hey, how are you doing and what is your role here at TWE? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm so happy to be here talking about myself and I'm really happy to be uh, working here at CWE. So I am a member of the writers team, design and outreach team here. I have been here since May and I love this community and I am a trainee too. Me and Anitia have been talking for months on end and we've become very, very good friends. And I love speaking to Anitia because brightens my day every day <laughs> and this, but this is the first time we are actually meeting face to face could you tell us a bit more about why you don't celebrate halloween or you've never celebrated it before yeah we celebrate a lot of festivals around the year so but halloween is perceived as a bad omen in our culture and spooky costumes and dark themes are usually disapproved in Asian countries. I don't watch horror movies as I'm really afraid of ghosts and dark rooms. <laughs> I used to wonder why Halloween is celebrated. Means why people enjoy a festival about ghosts and wear spooky costumes. Don't <laughs> they get scared? But now I understand that it's a part of fun. Everyone enjoys eating treats or candies buying costumes of their favorite characters and participating in a lot of fun activities. So do you have any questions about Halloween that you want to cover? Yeah, what is the significance of this Halloween festival? The reason behind Halloween is when the tradition is originated with the ancient Celtic festival of Sam. Mian. Sam Hian? I think that's how I pronounce it, I am not sure. But people would like bonfires and wear costumes to warn ghosts off, which I really like. I like that idea. I don't know why. But this day is marked at the end of summer and the harvest and the beginning of the dark, cold and winter time of year, which I'm really feeling right now because I'm freezing. <laughs> But the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred. So on the night of October the 31st, they celebrated Samharan. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Samharan, when it's believed that the ghosts of the dead return to Earth. Okay, so my next question is, what is trick or treating? Trick-or-treating is a traditional thing for kids, but also adults as well. People just think it's for kids, and I don't know why. But we get to dress up as anything we want, and we get to go out in a local neighbourhood or any, anywhere you can imagine, walk up to someone's door, knock on the door and go, trick-or-treat, and you're holding like a little uh, basket-type thing, like a little pumpkin. And they give you treats and, or a trick, if you wanted to, but they mostly give you sweets, lollipops. This has been going on since the 1930s. So to imagine it's been going on for all that time is pretty, pretty mad. Yeah, this custom is very nice. <laughs> I love sweets, <laughs> so I also want a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you some in the post. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I will eat virtually, no problem. So what are some popular Halloween costumes? Some of the most popular Halloween costumes are witch costumes, clown costumes, vampire costumes, devil costumes, zombie costumes, and ghost costumes. But what I wanted to add in was some of my favourite uh, Halloween costumes so as I'm a lover of Alice in Wonderland uh, one time for Halloween I decided to go as Alice in the blue dress but then put fake blood all over it so I was like a dead Alice and I just loved doing that for some unknown reason 
but then also one year I went as the Joker and then as a kid I remember one of my uh, costumes was Coraline have you ever seen Coraline Tim Burton no oh that is a traditional Halloween movie I really suggest watching it really suggest (laughs) okay I'll watch it then (laughs) <laughs> so what is some popular Halloween foods? So some popular Halloween foods are candy and caramel apples, which I've never tried before, but they do look really nice. Then you've got pumpkin patch bits, which are made with pie crusts and then whatever you want to put inside. So you could put like cheese, ham, whatever you like if you're vegetarian cheese (laughs) but then uh, you can make spiderweb pizza which is basically just a pizza and then you decorate it is in the spiderweb which is i think is pretty cool and then you've got pumpkin soup as well which i've never tried either but it's on my list to try so (laughs) and all the recipes can be found in the description below why only pumpkins are used for Halloween since most of them are pumpkins as I see? So the original idea of using pumpkins for Halloween was just to make them into jack-o'-lanterns, which is when you cut out the pumpkin and then you put like a torch or a candle inside. So then it lights up and then it's got like a creepy face showing, which is pretty cool. I really love Uh, jack-o'-lanterns but they used to make them to scare away the evil spirits like I mentioned before but it's not just pumpkins that we use for Halloween we we can use turnips and any kind of vegetable really it just depends what you like I'm just nice hearing all of this I'm really excited for my first Halloween like I am in a server of Harry Potter lovers and they would organize some virtual Halloween events like scavenger hunts, bingo, haunted house tours, or spooky storytelling for the whole October month. And so I am also uh, feeling so good designing some Halloween posts for TWE too. And I have also seen the schedule for the, for the Halloween week. It's uh, so excited for it. Well, it's interesting to hear that not many people celebrate Halloween worldwide and when you told me about this I was very shocked and I just had to know more so this is why I wanted to do this video so thank you so much for joining me and sharing with us why you've never celebrated Halloween but this is going to be your first Halloween like you said and I hope you enjoy it because I love Halloween I love all things horror and creepy are just my (laughs) favourite but thank you for joining us it was fun to interview you to find out more and I hope you can join us next time in our Halloween series so that's it for now and we'll see you next time so bye